Bacula Enterprise Edition to the rescue. Welcome to the Bacula Systems web series. This continuation of our BWeb intro demonstrates how to add a new Windows MS SQL backup client using BWeb. If you haven't yet seen part one of the BWeb intro videos, it may make sense to start there for some additional background. As usual, we start here on the main landing page for BWeb. This can be reached at any time by clicking the icon in the upper left of the window. Clicking Clients opens the Client drop-down menu that allows us to view a full list of the clients assigned to this director. The client listing shows the names and Bacula version, as well as the operating system for each file daemon. As a note, this client version in this listing is only present once you have valid backups for a client. That's why many of these are blank. From here, you have many options available to check the status of a client, test network performance, check recent jobs, or even restrict network bandwidth to reduce backup throughput for the client. Clicking Add here will open the Configure a New Client dialog. First, we have to name the resource. This will normally be the host name and then a descriptor or a client designation to avoid ambiguity for machines that run multiple Bacula components. Next, we choose the OS type for some basic defaults and then enter the address or DNS name for the client we're adding. BWeb will generate a password for the file daemon, or you can choose your own. If you have TLS configured, you will be able to configure the necessary keys and certificates here. In this case, TLS is not configured, so we move on. The next step shows the configuration that will be pushed out to the client based on our decisions so far. Next, we move on to make any final edits to the client config and deploy the necessary files to the client. Clicking Edit and Deploy brings up the file daemon configuration window. Here we can fine tune the client options such as network compression, bandwidth limitation, allowable concurrent jobs if needed, but in most cases, the defaults are recommended. Once satisfied with the configuration, click Save, and the client is now added to the list known to this director. BWeb can now create a deployment script to automate the configuration on the client. Selecting the client and clicking the Push Configuration button brings up the Push Configuration dialog. First, it shows the resources that will be pushed to the client. Here's another look at those resources from earlier. Now Bacula will ask the operating system and credentials for the new client in order to create the correct deployment script, and then the script will be created and placed in the working directory on the BWeb server. Note that the client configuration file could also be modified manually or deployed by any tool that can modify text files. Finally, the configuration changes on the director must be committed and the director reloaded. Before we can push the client configuration, Bacula has to be installed on the new Windows server, so I will jump over there now. As you can see, there is no Bacula service on this server yet. The Bacula file daemon for Windows and the MS SQL plugin support silent mode for unattended or remote installation, as you can see here. After the install is complete, we can see the Bacula file daemon service listed in the services list. And now the deployment script can be executed from the BWeb server. This will push the configuration out to the newly installed file daemon and start the service. And now we can confirm that the service is started. At this point, the client should be ready to accept connections from Bacula. This can be confirmed by checking the status in BWeb as seen here or in bconsole with the status command. Status returns client information such as the OS and Bacula versions, any recent backup jobs, as well as any plugins installed such as our Microsoft SQL backup plugin shown here. A network test will confirm that data can flow between our new client and the storage selected and give some performance data. At this point, we're ready to create a new backup job to backup this client. That concludes this introduction to using BWeb to add a Windows client with the Microsoft SQL plugin to Bacula Enterprise Edition. The process to add other clients and plugins is very similar. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to be updated as new videos come out. And if you want to try Bacula Enterprise Edition, go to baculasystems.com and click Try for Free. Thank you.